Hey guys, Thirty Beauty here, and today I am bringing you a review that is long overdue, but I'm kind of glad it is because I tried one, and then today I was able to pick up another one. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. It's the 24-hour wear, and they're usually about six dollars a pod. I was able to pick this one up on clearance, as you can see at Target for $2.97. I will go ahead and let you know I picked up quite a little things at Target on clearance. I was able to get the OPI gumdrop in lilac gumdrops. I like I lilac gumdrops, excuse me. And I swatched this on my nail just a little while ago. Let me get you a good view in there. And it's actually really cute. Texture nail polish. That was two coats, just like it said. And I like this. I really only have a few other OPI products because I don't can't justify the eight nine up to twelve dollars a bottle. So for three ninety five, I think I paid for this one on clearance. It was a really good deal. Um, this one I did pay um, at um, Walgreens. I picked up. I have been looking for it for a while ever since Novi did a review on it. Love that blog, guys. Um, if you don't know what it is, you definitely need to check it out. But this is the Gilded, and it's a nice gold shimmer, but it has red flakes of uh, glitter in it as well that just gives it this peachy gold color. It's really nice. almost looks antiqued. And then, of course, my go-to favorite matte lipsticks. Um, I picked up 109, which is this gorgeous orange peach color, which I just think is going to look good for fall. And then I was able to find one of the newer products um, I was so excited about. This is the NYC uh, City Duo Dual 2-in-1 Lip Color. And honestly, you can obviously see that. One side is your darker color while the other side is like the highlight point color. And I will definitely probably do a review on this one itself. So just stay tuned for that. But as far as today goes, we are definitely looking at the color tattoo. Now, Absolutely stay tuned because I did pick up the $30 Fergie limited edition Fergie's Jet Set uh, makeup palette. And the thing about this one is it's $30 at Walgreens. It is a Walgreens exclusive. Best part about this, guys, 25% off all wet and wild. It brought it down to $22.50 with my Walgreens rewards. I spent all of like $20 on it. So if you follow the rewards program and you have some rewards saved, and if you happen to um, get it during this week before Sunday, you will get it for 25% off, and initially it'll start out at $22.50 before your reward. So, definitely, definitely. If you haven't got that, it's worth it. If you like Wet n Wild, I love Wet n Wild, it's worth it. Now, back to our initial review. I'm sorry, guys. This is the color tattoo by Maybelline, and I had for so long, I don't like creams, just don't like them. I'd rather have a good matte eyeshadow, but. I decided to go ahead and get one, and I've I've worn this one, and this one is number 20, Painted Purple. Let's see if I can give you that look. There you go. And this purple is just phenomenally pigmented. It has got a great shimmer to it, and let's see if I can swatch this for you. So, well, I usually put these on my finger because they pack such a vivid color. There you go. That is such a vivid color. And then when you swatch it on, just a moment. Now, I can say that they don't, if you want to put them on, I, I would say pat them on. This was swiped across. It does keep some of the pigmenting, but it does kind of muddy it out, as you can see. It's a great base for other eyeshadow colors. Like if you're going to use this one and then maybe like a blue or a purple eyeshadow color, this would be a great base because it does have purple tones and it does have blue tones to it. It's um, a very, very, very blue toned purple, but it's so pretty. And it's not really picking up the metallic look that it has here. And it does have some shimmer glitter in it. Let's see if I can get a better look in there. It does have some shimmer glitter in it. Yeah, I can see that picking up, but not a lot. So. But the thing that I can say is the wear on these are insane. Like, they wear for such a long time. I wouldn't say 24 hours. That's a little bit of an exaggeration, in my opinion, unless you're wearing a really good um, matte primer. But as far as 
wearing for at least, you know, a full work day and coming home and still being okay for dinner and then before you remove it at night, it's great. So you're talking about your average 8 to 10 hour wear is absolutely phenomenal. This color I picked up today, and as I showed you earlier, I got it for $2.97 at Target on clearance. And it's a gorgeous teal blue color. The actual color is number 50, and it is called Edgy Emerald. And with this color, I have not swatched, have not even touched in that pod. Here's how they look. Sorry about the finger slip. Here's how they look when they first come in the pod. So they look very, and then when you break the surface, it does change the, the consistency and color, as you can see there. Let me go ahead and swatch this for you guys. Wow, this one's a lot better formula. Maybe the first one wasn't the greatest, but um, this formula, there we go. It's really nice, very, can't make up on my fingers. Okay, wipe that off and go back to the swatch so I can show you guys. And you see how pigmented it is because you can see where I got it on my tattoo here. And it absolutely covered it. Like, this stuff is so pigmented. This one's much, much better consistency and application than the purple toned one. So, definitely, as you, you know, you can absolutely see how well these apply and how well they stay on. I, like I said, I tested the purple one first. I have not tested this one, so I'm going to soon. I just got to find a, um, a makeup scheme to wear that color with. But I definitely would suggest that you, with the purple one, you wear it as a base or as, when you pat it on. The other one, that is, I rub both of these across from my finger so you could imagine that rubbing these onto your eyelids is probably the best option I would not suggest a brush or anything of that nature so and I mean that pretty much concludes the review on that um, I'm gonna show you guys something because I actually spent all weekend doing this so I want to show you I actually went and we moved rooms I'm no longer in the other room that I was in so my whole little makeup setup is now in here so you can just see some of the little things that I have done around. Um, I sat up all night last night making this, which is just really folded tight paper, weaved in and out, it's not a little lipstick puller, but as you can see, and I took my shelves and I put all my sinful colors up there, which I'm already going to need another one, and my mother, she works at Walmart and she can get these, all the cardboard cutouts and stuff for displays, so I have tons of Monster High ones because I love Monster High, and we brought this in. And I kind of, it looks all splotchy because some of the top had worn away and I used a matte black spray paint because all I had. So now it has this cloudy effect. And then I use an old paintbrush rounder, which is such a good idea to use. I'm, I'm so proud of myself on that one. But it does really well to hold um, everyday nail polish use, like my texture polishes, my clear coats, um, my buffers, some of my limited ones that I only have a couple of. All my makeup brushes, um, pens, a few emery boards, my tweezers, three or four different types, my under eye puffy eyeball roller, my acrylic set. Um, so just a, a, a bunch of things. I even got my glitters in there for my nails and stuff. So, And then, you know, my wipe off board is up here. So I've, I've got my wipe off markers. And then as we go down, now I have my, um, this basket has my makeup bag and some empty where I had purchased a couple of the cheaper brushes that I love in here as well as I found these at Target on clearance aren't they cute I love skulls everything skulls and then all my um, Dollar General exclusive wet and wild mega last nail polishes are in there there are various nail polishes in there my favorite snacks I got some swatches. See, this is great because my swatches can sit and dry here. These are for my um, Pure Ice collection that will be featured pretty soon. Um, my little makeup drawer, most of my makeup's on the desk in little baskets, but this is just the odds and ends, all my foundations, concealers, and stuff. You know, I've just gotten into this. I just picked this up yesterday, too, which this looks really cute. It's the e.l.f. Um, Golden Bronzer from the Studio line. And that is such, so pretty. I can't wait to contour with that. 
and you know, my Fit Me, some excess lip stuff that's not on my desk, and uh, some of the Estee Lauder and stuff like that. High-end makeup is in another room, so this is my nail drawer. It's got a lighter for candles. We've got uh, cotton swabs and all that. Gotten my huge selection of different stick-ons. Um, I sent one of these out as a prize for the PLL contest, which there'll be a new contest coming up very soon, but just a bunch of different things. I picked um, these. I love these. And I actually, Walgreens has these now, guys, in their little Christmas thing for $2. They're not these, but they have all kinds of different ones. I got two today, so I'll probably be showing that during the Fergie review. And, you know, I got my beauty blender and um, stamp sets and things of that nature. There's also a um, Hollywood nail stamper um, in that basket. And then at the bottom is just my bath essentials, uh, my Noxemas, my shampoos and razors and my Neutrogena bars. I love these. I live with, by these. These are so great. And uh, everything down to pure cocoa butter. So, um, It's working out, as you can see, a whole lot better than my last area. I'm going to have to do a full room tour, but right now we're under construction and doing a lot of things. So the makeup room is now in the the doll room, which is where I set up, I build uh, everything and set everything up, and it's just a wreck right now too, so the setup, I had only got one finished, and it's like, that's about it, when you get older and you collect dolls, you pretty much make setups and leave them, and then you usually get to enjoy them as you come in, my favorite bag, and some of my scarves and things, but, um, yeah, this was supposed to be just about the color tattoo, but it ended up being a little, uh, what's at my desk slash color tattoo review. So without any more rambling, I'm going to see you guys later so I can get on to filming this Fergie review. Bye guys!